I'm Chris Carter, and I'm about to try out my new watercolor brush. It's a Da Vinci watercolor brush with a squirrel hair end, which I've really grown to like in spite of the fact that originally, um, decades ago, I thought that the squirrel hair brushes were kind of useless because they got so limp. But then when I started to be more adventurous with watercolor and flinging it about and playing more wet and wet and wanting more pigment and wanting a brush to hold more pigment and water, I grew to love them. This also has a silver tip on the end. And just recently, within the last year, I started playing with silver point. So I'm excited about trying this out too. So here we go, let's see what it does. Oh, it came in this nice box uh, with an explanation in several different languages. I always like a little bit of information, like our great namesake, the universal genius Leonardo da Vinci, has created a multitude of illustrations and drawings in the course of his life using the so-called silver point drawing, a very common technique since the 12th century. This technique was in use for graphic works as well as for pre-drawings. So let's see. This is a little bit of paper that's already coated for silver point. I believe that this is the side. Let's just kind of look at that. That is with silver. Is that not awesome? So if we do a quick little drawing of that jar, I'm going to also try watercolor on this because I've never tried that. So this is a jar I'm looking at with some brushes. A little wet and wet to make that purple, a little fun yellow. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with the brush and I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with this end. This looks like a mess, but just wait. When it dries, I'm going to go back in with some India ink and <laughs> some magic will begin. I'm using my platinum carbon ink fountain pen. Fountain pen's having a little bit of trouble on this paper that's prepared for silver point. That's okay. This is still so much fun. This is the first time I've tried to draw with fountain pen on paper that's prepared for silver point. And I see a little bit of material being caught up on the fountain pen nib, which is making that thicker. That's okay. I just want a little bit more. I'm inventing this brush. It doesn't really exist, but there it is. 